we will call this uh, whole micro SaaS service where user can enter their Grok API key, replicate API key, and it can uh, user can generate PDF stories, small stories, two page stories in this case. Uh, for example, a story about a cow in Candyland. Then I clicked a generate story, and we got this image, this one, and then we can download PDF as well. This is what the PDF looks like, and I want to just uh, also show you uh, how it works. So I said Goblin in Mystic Forest. I click generate. We're gonna wait very very shortly for a few seconds only, and it's already generated the story and the images. It's this guy right here and this this guy right here. Uh, this is very extensible. You can now build on top of this, so you can. I have image style. You can maybe. Uh, create better prompts, create more images. So we downloaded the PDF here. You can also connect Stripe to this and maybe monetize it. So this is the bare bones. This is just for you to see how to make this with Next.js and these APIs. So let's start. So first, let's just search for Next.js Quick Start. And if you go here in installation, it's very, very easy. You just need to download, click here and download Node.js if you don't have it and then copy this uh, command go to some folder somewhere where you want to install the uh, create your startup or your project uh, we're going to create a new folder whatever the name is let's then enter this folder and then uh, write cmd here so we need to get to this path to this folder and then let's paste uh, did i copy this command and then paste and then add a dot to install this in this current folder and then just press enter so this is how you initiate a next.js and then you will just well you will not have this name because you put dot so it's going to install in the folder instead of giving it this name it's going to be like the folder that you do it in and then uh, just press enter to all of the all of this so take all of the default values just press enter to everything and then you can just open this folder in vs code editor or any kind of code editor and here in app folder you're gonna have this inside of this page tsx i'm gonna put this whole application in this one file because i'm doing this i did this only in a few hours i want to make this video asap so you, you're going to have this page TSX, remove everything and let's start coding here. Let me zoom in. So I'm going to say use client because it's going to be client. Then import use state and next page. Uh, import head and image for next image. You're going to, you don't need to install any of this. Uh, you're going to need to uh, npm, npm install this. So npm install and then this Grok SDK. And then npm install this as well, JSPDF. Make sure your uh, you are uh, your CMD is in this uh, folder, the same folder. Okay, then let's create this sleep function. Number of milliseconds. It's gonna return a promise. Set timeout for this number of milliseconds. So this will just wait when we are generating our image. Uh, we're gonna check if the image has finish generating with this sleep after a, some time generate image so user prompt string style uh, string this is just also a prompt that's going to describe style uh, user will also be able to use this so let me show you here image style this is um, where we where user will describe image style let's go back API key, so we're going to use this replicate API key, return prediction, uh, full prompt, it's going to be style, and then this, and then user prompt, uh, response, so we're going to fetch API slash API slash prediction, so we don't, you don't have this yet, but let's just do it like this, we're going to make this, and then uh, open curly brackets, method post so better api key so this is how we're gonna we're gonna create this api route let's say body is json stringify a prompt is full prompt and that's it so the full prompt is combination 
prediction is await JSON response. If response status is different from uh, 201, throw error prediction detail. While prediction status is different from succeed and different from fail, we're gonna keep uh, checking if it finished or failed. So sleep for 1000 milliseconds for one second, and then we're gonna go predictions plus uh, prediction.id. So here I'm gonna show you in API folder so that you can create this API folder now. And then uh, you don't need this generative image, you just, you just need predictions. And then ID in this, in this square brackets and then route.ts. So here route.ts as well. So create this folder path. So this uh, route.ts is for initi initiating the image generation and this route.ts is for checking if this image has been generated. But we're gonna return to this so you don't even need to do it right now. So here we need to say authorization, bear, bearer API key, prediction await response JSON. If status is different from 200, throw error. So uh, yeah, we are here, here response, response the JSON, this is prediction, so this is this response. I'm pretty sure, yeah, let's see the res test this response. Okay. Okay, generate story, user prompt, and the API key. This is going to be Grok API key. Try. Grok is new Grok uh, API key and dangerously allow browser. I'm pretty sure this is not dangerous. This is only dangerous if, I'm, if I would be using my own API key and then I expose it to the browser so you can steal or somebody can steal it. But I think it's not dangerous because right now, it, there is no backend API key that's getting exposed, but users are putting their own API keys into the client, into the browser, so this is not dangerous at all, because nobody can access their client, I think. Uh, chat completion. So I think this, this is safe. Okay, uh, grok chat completions create. Put in the comments below if you don't think this is safe, but I think this is completely safe. Uh, okay, so we are gonna create the grok completion, the LLM completion, so messages, and then we put in array. Okay, so the first message is gonna be role user, content writer, short uh, story based on this prompt, and then give it this variable. The story should be two distinct parts, each part this amount of words, clearly separate two parts with part one and part two tags. Okay, after that let's add model llama 1.3.18b is instant. You can use 70b if you want. Temperature 1, max token tokens 1024, top p1, stream false, stop null. You can read more about this in the documentation of Grok. And then content is, this is how you ac access the generated content. And then uh, I'm just logging it, but you want to split in parts because this is going to, I'm going to show you, it's going to generate like this, part one, and then part one of the story, part two. So I'm going, I'm using regex to split based on this part one and part two. This is the regex. And return, uh, part one is going to be part, and then index one, because the way we are splitting it, that will also, at parts index zero, will be just empty string, completely empty, like this. Okay, so we need to take on index 1 and index 2 and return or return null or, or return empty string, sorry. Okay, let's continue. Catch error, error generating story, okay, generate image prompt, St uh, story part, keywords, so we're gonna get some keywords by splitting with this and then slice 0 to 10 and then join all of them with this, scene 1 keywords, yeah, this is how I generate 
just take like this first uh, number of words first 10 words and then but you can do it in a different way if you want you can use Claude and ask it to do something else here or you could also pass in the whole story prompt so I maybe I maybe just do that a story part as prompt I might just re say return story part here to mitigate this keyword manipulation generate PDF so we want to generate PDF we have story part 1 and part 2 and images we should be string uh, we should be array of URLs and style string okay so we say create a new PDF object uh, then these are just settings I'm not even sure like what I did here I, I just took this from uh, Claude margin 10 content width so I'm just making the width height settings uh, images with aspect you need to use images with aspect ratio because otherwise it's gonna get stretched and pulled apart so we're gonna use this PDF get image properties aspect ratio is uh, same as yeah image properties with height so I'm just setting the aspect ratio here and then add image so PDF add image that's it add text with uh, pagi pagin pagination how do you spell say this uh, set font set size split text and then uh, current y so this is just formatting text so we want to put it below the image for each line we want to print each line into the pdf pdf text line margin current so i think uh, we could even reduce the margin maybe my margin was a bit too much but you can play with this you can copy this into ChatGPT or cloud and ask it to change it and then just return current y so this is gonna do add text with pagination okay and then uh, first page we have y offset margin first image height and then we say y offset uh, first image height plus 10 so now we add text below the image so we have first image height and then below add the text second page the same and then just save the PDF okay let's create now the page the home page prompt grok API key and then replicate API key story that has part one part two can be also now images is string of image URLs uh, array of image URLs loading state error state image style this is also a string handle submit prevent default so it doesn't refresh the page if there is no these keys throw an error set loading set error uh, set story now set images so clean everything if, it, if there was a previous values try generate story prompt in grok api key set story image prompt one generate image from generate image from part two and then uh, we're gonna get image prediction one and two await promise all so promise all will let us because I believe these are uh, async no they're not okay but uh, promise all let us execute fulfill these promises at once so we don't need to wait uh, one by one so await promise all ah these here so generate image this should be async i'm sorry yeah this is async so we're gonna call this function two times but because we are using promise all we're gonna call both times like uh, together we will not call once and then wait we will just call them both and then wait for both to finish at the same time concurrently yeah okay now let's say uh, image urls it's gonna be image prediction one and then this is how to get the url 
and then for the second one this is just this just depends on how you call the data and their API okay so next set image image URLs and then catch errors and then finally set loading to false return so now let's call the UI I got this good stuff head title and link I think I'm not even sure this works to be honest okay well let's continue so div uh, relative absolute so we're gonna have I think this is the background is it I think this is yeah the, the background this background thing blue thing and then below we have this other one and then div inside with another div another div that's gonna be title h2 generate uh, uh, two, two page story generator and then form handle submit div div this is label grok api key input grok api key uh, so ids and then type password required placeholder value grok key and then on change this do the same for replicate api key exactly the same and then label for uh, image style gonna be very similar so we can just uh, go quickly here and then prompt as well below that div button submit disabled loading and then a bunch of these classes you see what it looks like this one and then loading okay so if there is error we show the error and then if there is story and images length is 2 then we will display them so we're gonna make a div generated content is the title page 1 image and then the story part so it's gonna be this image and then the story part which is not displaying currently but don't worry we will it will be displaying for you most likely I hope uh, and then div do the same thing for the second image and then download PDF so this is just gonna call generate PDF yeah so that's it that's the whole code now let's go to route TS so we have an app API folder and then predictions and then uh, route TS so let's do this one I'm gonna import next response from next server replicate from replicate you need to have npm install this replicate so uh, I think the following part of code is absolutely useless but I was reading the replicate documentation and they were using this for something I'm not sure so I just put it here so webhook host Vercel URL it's gonna be uh, this Vercel URL or angra host but we are not using this I think this is if you are using webhooks instead of checking every like one second if the image completed so you use this if you want the Repli to send you information when the image is completed to this webhook but we are not using this instead we are checking every one second if the image was is completed so let's make this post endpoint try so we're gonna extract prompt and the API key replicate 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 API key from the browser it's gonna be request JSON if there is no either of them you're gonna throw some error prompt and API key are required and then replicate oh I call it replit it's called replicate okay so and then you say out is API key options model I'm gonna use this one so this is the cheap one this is the best one for me and then prompt like this webhook host so it, we don't we are not using this button API webhooks we don't even have this endpoint by the way but let's just keep it there prediction uh, I will replicate predictions create and then pass in options if there is an error then just log the error and then 
return this and then cache the error here as well and just log it that's it that's it save and then in this slash prediction slash id in square brackets uh, and then uh, route yes this one is shorter this is just checking if the ai if the g image is generated so let's import next response from next server and replicate from replicate and then create a get a path and we're gonna get parameters from the url so id of this thing and then id is gonna be from parameters api key will be request headers get authorization if there is no api key api key is required replicate so initiate it and then try prediction is replicate prediction get id if there is an error we're gonna return next response this error otherwise we're gonna return prediction and we're gonna also catch here this try we're gonna return this and that's it yeah that's it that's it so let's just save this and we also need to go back so if we go back to page tsx we see the generate image i think i changed it a little bit so what i did i think this is the same um, i added this api key api key to the body oh sorry and i'm pretty sure this may be same or might be a bit different so you need to check your code here because i had a bug so i had to change all of this a little bit so just check your code see if it's like this or you can go to my github and check everything else should be exactly the same and then say control p and next config mjs you need to put in these curly brackets these images and then these uh, columns open again domains and replic replicate delivery so this is so you can display images from this domain you need to have this here also if you go to global css if you don't have this and your height on the, of the page is messed up you need to add this now let's go to any terminal and say npm run build so we need to check for errors before we deploy to Vercel let this run and then go to github.com slash new add repository name I'm gonna make it public but you can make it private and then that's it create repository I already have this repository so I'm not gonna do it again but you need to do the uh, git uh, add branch whatever you can just go to ChatGPT and ask it to tell to give you a list of commands or I think you will also have a list of commands there when you create the repository how to add my next.js application to the github repository give me a list of commands and then let's go to vercel.com so while running this npm run build i got this error i pasted it into chatgpt and it told me like the problem is with dot next folder and whenever the problem is with dot next folder you can just delete it and here it says you can delete the folder so let me do exactly that i think it's up here just delete continue oh it seems to me that my instance was running here that's why it didn't work so let me do this uh, i think i don't need to delete the folder actually let me just now npm run build again and we can also go to vercel so here go to vercel you need to log in and then you're gonna have a button like deploy or something and then i'm gonna import let's import my project there is nothing there is absolutely nothing i need to change just click deploy now this may not work because i don't even know if it's gonna work here so we are doing this because it's faster to check than to like check it here but let's just check it here as well now it 
error right here why my build failed so I think I'm just gonna delete this and then if I go check image style we don't need to pass this either I made some more adjustments so here in the uh, router in predictions I added these two fields in the options and did I do anything else I added this uh, error here this is what I replaced so this was just error so I replaced this with this kind of string let me go up here what is this and then here on the, on the top this request we're gonna give it type request this is I think this is uh, inbuilt yeah and now let's go to the, to the other router and so this will also have a request and this params we can give it uh, id it's gonna have this string like that no no sorry sorry it's gonna be like this so it has to be params type params and then params has type id string with this object and then here on the bottom, I'm I also added this stuff. So now there should be no errors. Let me go back and npm run build again. So it looks like this npm run build worked completely. So I'm gonna git add and then git commit. Uh, bug fix should be more detailed but I'm just gonna do it quickly like this so as soon as I do this uh, my project Vercel project should start automatically redeploying so let's go back ay 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 um, import so I, I'm gonna import it again I guess or no if I go to my projects yeah, it should be here and now it should be automatically redeploying ah yeah building here and it looks like it's ready so I'm gonna go here okay let me enter my keys so I got the keys and then I say a story about a cow in Candyland and it's gonna be generating for some time and now we got this okay I think I can just download PDF and if I want to improve uh, this prompt I can say cow in Candyland here so if I go and I said cow in Candyland should generate it yeah just like that And this is the PDF that I downloaded earlier. This is what it is. Thank you for watching.